Firefighters are still spraying down what were once bales of recycled paper. The Office of Emergency Management tells me that firefighters will be here through the night, possibly into the morning, trying to get to the deepest parts of this fire. I'm working here 16 years. Uh, everybody here is like a family. 15 minutes, it's all gone. John Romano is home away from home, burned to the ground Tuesday afternoon as a massive fire tore through reliable paper recycling in Jersey City. It was a very windy day and it just took, took off. And within the next half hour, the fire went all the way down to the light rail building on the other side of the tracks. It, it's pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Flying embers resulted in um, the fire spreading further north. Jersey City officials say the fire sparked around 2.45 p.m. The high winds and dry air created the ideal atmosphere for fire to spread, reaching seven alarms at its peak. In my 40 plus years, we've only had one, and that was way back in the 80s. It's uh, highly unusual you get a fire to that extent, but um, we've gotten calls from our counterparts over New York City, you know, about the black smoke. Winds spread the fire along the New Jersey Turnpike and paralyzed the Hudson Bergen light rail. Thankfully, no one was injured. A lot of people got hurt today. Not physically, just in the whole scheme of things. It's heartbreaking, in my opinion, for what I've seen. This has been my home for a long time. And it's unclear what started this fire, but an arson team is now investigating the cause.